Good day and welcome to the Asia Military News Channel. In today's top story, Singapore's Defence Science and Technology Agency, DSTA, has partnered with Sweden's Saab to co-develop the next-generation combat vessels. The two organisations signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, on the 22nd of March 2023, during the Singapore Defence Technology Summit. Under the MOU, DSTA and Saab will work together in long-term supportability, people development, and smart technologies. The primary objective of this collaboration is to design and co-develop the Republic of Singapore Navy's new multi-role combat vessel, MRCV, using cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence, AR, and data analytics. This partnership will allow DSTA to nurture local talent in surface ship design and naval and digital technology. Through work attachments and internships with Saab, DSTA engineers, and scholars will get opportunities to enhance their technical competences and develop their skills in the industry. The aim is to build in-country capabilities in the industry to repair composite structures for ships and radar overhauls in the future. According to Mr. Mervyn Tan, DSDA's chief executive, this partnership marks the beginning of an exciting journey with Saab. He also added that this partnership would lead to a more robust in-country talent pipeline of defense engineers and technologists with real-world experience. Mr. Mats Wixell, Senior Vice President and Head of Saab's Business Area Cockums, expressed his enthusiasm for this agreement, saying that this partnership recognizes Saab's competitive edge in technology areas crucial for the future. With the rapid advancement of technology, the partnership between DSTA and Saab will help accelerate the growth of knowledge, not only in ship design but also in technologies of strategic significance such as AI and data analytics. The partnership will not only deliver an advanced, digitalized, and data-driven multi-role combat vessel but also create a sustainable talent pipeline for Singapore's defense industry. That's all for now. Stay tuned to Asia Military News Channel for more updates on defense technology and military affairs in the region.